Each summer, the city of Cebu is transformed from the former capital of culture into the capital of off-road racing for the Red Bull Romaniacs Hard Enduro Rally. The location in the Carpathian Mountains is complete with challenging hill climbs and rugged terrain. This race has something for everyone. It's a landscape that looks purposefully made for the ultimate hardcore enduro event in mind. Enter Martin Freinandemitz, the games master for this five-day event. A former world and European snowboarding champion, Martin organized the event after years of exploring the Carpathian Mountains on his dirt bike. Ah, the first edition kicked off in 2004 and uh, it was difficult to organize it. We had, uh, we had quite some troubles. Nobody was believing the Austrian guy who comes to Romania and wants to do something very special that nobody has seen before. Finally, it happened out. So some of the, of the top stars were here. Some of the expert uh, amateur riders were here. And every one went home after the first race and said, this is just great what we can do here. And, uh, the vibes were so positive that the next year we have been growing by 50%. So until crisis of 2008, we have been growing every year by 50%. We have just great riding of all kinds of, uh, of levels. And this is what we can find here in this country. And uh, this is what people, as I can see, also like. The same the way that I like it and the same way that my track managers, my track director and all the other guys that helped me putting up that race like. This is Enduro, this is what we think is Enduro, and I guess there's many other people that confirm that uh, the way that we see Enduro uh, is also the way that they see Enduro. The event has evolved over the years, starting with only 28 competitors back in 2004. The prologue has also changed from the beginning, going from an urban obstacle course to a more formal approach. I wanted to give the best players a chance to show what they are capable to do and I wanted to give the not so good riders a chance to sniff a bit of this, this adventure, this, uh, this uh, great country, landscape, riding trails and being together with the top stars with the pros. Today over 300 competitors come from 41 different nations to race here and the course is attracting world class riders. Yeah, I just love coming to Romania. It's just a beautiful place and the first year was in 2008. I managed to win it first time out. And then had a couple of years with a few problems with the bike and injuries. And, but it's that type of event anything can happen. So you just have to try and be consistent over the four days and hope you're somewhere near at the end. Yeah, 2009 uh, was the first time in here at the Red Bull Romaniacs and yeah, it was my first international uh, victory um, was my first time with, with navigation and everything was new so but yeah I did it. It's kind of hard to describe the feeling it was just just absolutely unbelievable just to be able to say that I finished the toughest race in the world. Which satisfies me the most is that we have uh, competitors from all over the world, from over 35 nations. And uh, this is quite interesting how many people we get to this quite unknown country, Romania, to ride in Toro. And everybody comes back to his mind and says, wow, this has been the best ride in my life. This is so wonderful here. I have a bit the feeling that we are there where I've always wished to be. Being able to organize a perfect motorbike competition organizing the best race in the world, an enjoyable race, a very tough race, and so far everything is working out. The 10th edition is here and Martin already has a few surprises up his sleeve. Of course we want to do something special, Andy is already talking now about uh, his ideas for the prologue and uh, we want to go back on some of the, of the old beautiful trails that we have used, but uh, check it out and wait until it's getting closer to it and we come up with all the details and the ideas.